you wake up and look around. You don't see a raft or price anywhere. Seems like he's taken his gold and took off. Also, you have a hundred extra gold that you were paid. I did not add that to your sheet. Oh, me. Yeah, he was good for something. He... Hundred gold. Although he also had every piece of information because he was asking so many questions. So, what'd you like to do? Okay, Yubi. Hola, como esta? What to do? You look around, kick the dirt a little bit, and ponder your next move. The birds sail above head. The waves crash along the shore. I ponder my existence. You see a bag of kittens start floating by. They're all dead in that bag. A bag of what? Kittens. No. Oh. You know, just take a pillowcase full of kittens and drown them. Yeah, I've done that. Um, so. Yes, QB, what would you like to do? Uh, go into town, I guess. Alright. Uh, I've centered you on your tokens, so you're free to move them out. Okay, okay. By the way, you don't have a hat anymore. Yes, your hat was taken by a mysterious force that you have no clue what it was. Oh heck, I'm gonna have to find myself a hat merchant. Hat merchant here? That's a book. No, it's a hat. You just put it on your head. Sounds legit to me. I'll be 50 gold. No, man. No, man. As you walk down the road, you see uh, one of your companions chatting up a, a person with very flowery, uh, with very feathery dressings. She's picking apples as they're talking. Mm, never could get into eating apples. Fine, uh, your note. Oh, sorry. Oh no, just continue. No, please. My one was an insult. And that's how I became an apple picker. I used to live a life, life of adventure like that, but um, the apples just called to me. <laughs> Hey, you can't deny your calling or else you'll get smited, am I right? You're right. I know this all too well. I I'll fill you in on the story later. It was surprisingly riveting. Hmm. Also, uh, I wouldn't go in the tavern. There's a there's a person who's unconscious. I'm 90% sure I set a person up with, a, with one of their cousins. And there might be an incest baby, and also there was someone who had information on our, on our geomancer, and he also, which I already cleared out. So. By the way, throughout we the conversation, play. you found out that her name is Apple. Best oh, name ever. Destiny. Yeah. All right. Best sorry about that. Um, I put the name tag on there, so I figured I should explain that. But continue on, Woods. Uh, but yeah, no, there was also a guy in there who had the information. Some information on the Geomancer. Which I got. What is the information? Uh, his sister is keeping him in a vault, I think. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, hmm. we just need to find a vault, I guess. Or someone who has a brother, I don't know. Or a sister, I don't know. Something like that. Hmm, what you see... If I hear vault correctly, I don't know how to pick a lock. So... I do. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Okay, but I'm leaving it to you. I'm not gonna help when we get there. When it comes to picking. Knowing this place, it's probably not even a vault. It's probably some quote-unquote magical forest or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think 
people use the word vault lightly, I think we all get a pretty good clear idea when we hear the word vault. What um, is. Apple finishes pick, picking the apples and says, um, well, it's off to put these in the vault. She skips along. <laughs> Told you. Something magical. I'm just gonna immediately start to fall off. At a distance, of course. Alright. Uh, you see who tune and open up something between these trees. And she calls inside. I wonder if that's where they keep the apples. That's probably where our geomancer is. Go find Grits, tell him I found him. I'll where, wait here where, in case anyone. Where's Grits at? I just point somewhere north. Somewhere up there. I heard a couple explosions. I wouldn't be surprised if he's behind them. Oh, uh, you do hear explosions off in the distance. Yeah, you see, normally I wouldn't walk towards explosions. So. Well, might as, might as well. Ba do bop. Ba do bop bop. Alright. Uh, you see a rather large cat, humanoid, curled up right here, taking a nap. Hmm. Probably not. Probably don't need to wake that, that little beast up. Alright. So, Grits. Yeah. Uh, you exit out towards the northern part of this, and yeah. okay. Do any of these sleeping people have like a huge sword next to them or something? Oh, uh, this woman. She is um hugging it much like a teddy bear. I'm gonna shake her shoulder and say, "Hey." Uh, give me a evade, or a block. Oh god. You're fucked. He's gonna die. No, he's a barbarian, he's immortal. He's fine. Alright, as you touch her, the blade unsheaths almost instantly and slashes across your torso. You take 9 points of damage. You know she takes a minus four from being prone, right? Uh, she's still rolled a twenty-two. Alright, alright. Can I gonna say, ah! What the fuck? What are you doing? Christmas, bro. Waking you up. Let me just sleep off of the alcohol. Gosh. So rude. Yeah, you're very rude. Now, I'd like to ask you a question while you're fucking awake. Yes. Good. Uh, we noticed that you have a ship and that you might be leaving here soon. Could we come with you? Oh no, well, I'm not leaving here anytime soon. They have good ale. Okay. I'm also looking for the Geomancer, but Ale comes first. Huh. So you're just gonna stay here the whole time and you're not even gonna look for the Geomancer? Oh, some witch chap paid me. I don't really care enough. He already paid me half of it up front. Who cares if I finish the job? Oh. So you're just gonna- you don't even need the boat. Just sell the boat. Perhaps. Maybe another time. Uh, uh